just cutting air at the moment, proving out a new program. I've already um, turned the end of this by jogging across and, uh, and jogging in a little bit, cutting a little bit, measuring and setting the uh, X axis uh, master tool there, that's the master tool uh, to the correct diameter. This is the uh, two Morse taper I'm trying to cut. The simulation on the screen doesn't look anything like a well, it looks a little bit like a two Morse taper, but got this strange thing on the end. I think that's Mac 3. Alright, <coughs> you put some stock in the chuck, set it up. Alright, it's telling me to put it at the uh, reference position. Tighten the chuck. Material is uh, 19 millimeter bright model steel. The uh, IFC collets pull the material away from the Z0 position, so I have to put an offset in the program to compensate.
I'll get, get into it with the crocus paper and a little light file to, to polish up the surface. Okay, um, there's my um, new rotary table, never been used. And down here I've um, used a marking pen to blacken the uh, taper. Let's see how it goes. Here's the result. I presume that means it's not perfect, but uh, I think it'll have to be good enough. Right, um, actually worked out another way of um, measuring the accuracy of this thing. Um, here's a store board <coughs> two Morse taper. Fits everything that I've got. And what I did was I uh, Put one beside the other and get a micrometer, and I measured uh, how parallel they were, and uh, they're, they're amazingly uh, parallel when I do it that way. A bit of jiggling around, I have to move it up and down to find the highest spot to get the, the two centres aligned, but it works. I never thought of doing that until this morning.